Hi, this is Matt Bisogno from ggs.co.uk. In this video I want to showcase some of the awesome winner getting power of the new GG's race cards. When clicking on race cards from the main menu, you'll be brought to an overview page for the day's racing. From here you can choose any race that you might be interested in. Let's look at the 350 from Southwell. Clicking the race brings up the card for that race. As you can see, it's a very colourful card and depending on whether you're a free or a gold member, you'll see uh, all or half of the icons next to each horse's name. Let me explain in a bit more detail what each of these buttons does. Clicking on the horse icon beneath the horse's name brings up a view of the last six runs for that horse. Clicking the small jockey icon brings four lines of data on the jockey's form. His form in the last two weeks, his form in the last 30 days, his form at the course in the last year and his form at the course since 2009. For each of these you can see runs, wins, win percentage, his place percentage and also a profit and loss view both to win stakes and each way stakes. The each way stakes are calculated based on your bookmaker's each way terms. So for instance in a, in a big field handicap this would be quarter the odds and in a maiden race this would be a fifth the odds. We have the same information for the trainer broken down in exactly the same way. This is very powerful for understanding whether your trainer or jockey has a particularly good or bad record at the track in question. The next button is the head to head button. Clicking on this icon will show the performance of the horse in question against the other horses in today's race. In this case we can see that Master Act has run against two of today's rivals previously and has beaten them both. We can see the date, time and track of those races as well as the distance, class, going, the position of the horse in question and the position of the horses it beat and the names of those horses. The next two icons offer a commentary on the horse. The first one, a yellow speech bubble, brings up the spotlight comment from the racing post. This can be useful if you just want a quick inside line on each of the horses. The last icon relates to breeding and clicking that brings up a box with information about the age, colour, sex and breeding of the horse in question. It also offers a commentary of the horse's relations, its cost and anything else which might be pertinent in the context of today's race. Rather than click each icon for each runner, there is a shortcut menu bar at the top. Clicking on, for instance, the comment bubble will open up the comment for every runner in the race and enable you to read those in a single view. Likewise, clicking on the breeding will bring in that information. Removing that is as simple as clicking the icons once more. And that's the main race card. Ignoring the result tab for now, the next tab we come to is the full form filter. Clicking on this tab brings up a full view of each horse's form. The view can be changed from horse to jockey to trainer. In this case I'm interested in the horse. We're looking at Masterful Act in this particular view and you can see that as well as the breeding information, trainer and jockey and owner, we have an overview of the horse's race record since 2009. On the right hand side of the blue row we have a series of filters and this is the real engine room of the GG's form analysis tools. With these filters we can sort the horse's overall form by anything we might be interested in. Today's race is an all weather race so why don't we select all weather. This tells us that in all weather races since 2009 Masterful Act, the horse in question, has run 15 times, winning 6 and finishing second, excuse me, finishing third on two other occasions. If we click today's course, we can see how Masterful Act has performed specifically at Southwell. 
in all weather flat races. And as we can see, he has a pretty impressive record, finishing third on his first run and winning on each of his five subsequent runs at the track. We can sort this data by anything we like. So if we wanted to look at his runs after a break, for instance, we'd click the 60 plus days button. If we wanted only to see the horse's wins, we'd click the wins icon. If we wanted to see wins and places, we'd click the places button. And so on. The next tab is the race analysis tab. And this is a wonderful place to go for people who are in a hurry. Basically, on this page you get a full traffic light overview of a horse's profile in relation to, that, to today's race conditions. For each runner it displays the horse's performance by going, class, course, distance, field size and compares today's rating T with the last winning rating L calculating the difference D. Each of these columns is sortable, so we can sort by win percentage at the course, for instance, and we see that the, the horses with the best form at the track are Masterful Act and Frontier Fighter. We can also sort by win or place, so if we wanted the place statistics, we'd click place. In this case, sorting by course, we see that Masterful Act still comes out on top with Frontier Fighter and the Lockmaster next best in. If we sorted by distance we'd see that Masterful Act and the Lockmaster have been placed each time they've run at this distance of one mile and three furlongs. The Pace Analysis tab allows us to get a view of how the race might be run. For each horse its last four runs are graded based on how it ran in the early part of that race. A score of four means the horse led or pressed the leader. A score of three means the horse was prominent or chased leaders. A score of two means the horse was in touch or ran in midfield. And a score of one means the horse was held up or behind. It's therefore possible for a horse to have a combined score from his last four runs of between 4, meaning it was held up in every run, and 16, meaning it led in every run. By adding these scores together and sorting, we can get a view of the overall pace profile of the race. This helps us to understand if it's likely to be a true run race, with lots of scores in the range of 12 to 16, or if it could be a more tactical race with lower scoring horses for the total pace scores. In order to understand the pace in the context of the race as well as in, uh, in context of the individual horses, we've converted each score as a percentage of the total scores in the race. So for instance, Mr. Man in the Moon scores 13 and that represents 14.77% of the total pace in the race. In this race we can see that there are at least three horses who are keen to get on with it. Comparing the pace with the draw gives us some quite interesting data. For instance, looking at this race as well, we can see of the three horses most likely to <coughs> want to push on, two of them are drawn on the wide outside in stores 11 and 12. That means that they are likely to be inconvenienced by that draw in trying to get to the front. As a consequence, it's likely that their jockey will either adopt different tactics today and rein them back, or will use up valuable energy trying to get across from a wide draw in order to adopt their familiar front running style. Of the three, then, Bubbly Bailey, drawn in stall six, seems to be best suited by today's conditions. This can be a very useful tool to understand if a race is likely to be very fast run with lots of pace or if it's going to be more tactical. Occasionally you get a single horse with a clear pace advantage. If these horses have other form factors in their favour they can be very very strong bets so do look out for the pace scores. And the final tab is the odds tab 
Within this tab, we've got full odds comparison for a dozen of the most popular bookmakers. This odds comparison can be sorted by fractional or decimal and by odds or name. You can sort by the bookmaker of your choice or by the best odds available with all the bookmakers. Once you've used the form tools to find your bet, just click the button with the best odds for the horse you're interested in and you'll be taken directly to the bet slip for the bookmaker in question. As well as the race cards, the Gigi's form tools also have a series of bespoke reports. As well as the race cards, the Gigi's also have a series of reports. These are horses for courses, best of, trainer stats and head to head. Let's look at each of these in more detail. Firstly, the horses for courses. Clicking on horses for courses brings up a full view of every horse running today with previous form at the track in question. The report can be sorted by any column you like, so time, track, horse, trainer, jockey, runs, wins places, win or place percentage, and again it has these very useful win and each way profit and loss views. For instance, sorting by win, profit and loss reveals that Join the Navy won its only start previous start at Taunton and it was 50 to 1 that day. It would be unreliable to expect that horse to perform to that level again, so this is more powerful when we're looking at horses with a bit more form. For instance, <clears throat> Alpha Tori here, with 24 runs at the track, we can see it's placed 50% of the time and been very profitable to follow. He might be worth a second look today. The best of report condenses all of the race analysis reports today into a single view, showing only the best performers across the various races. Again, this report can be sorted by any column you like. The way I tend to use it is to sort each uh, of going class, course, distance and field size by win percent and then looking across the row to see which have the most green and maybe a little amber. So for instance today uh, Cloudy Joker I can see has a row of green all the way across. If you're more interested in place percentage you can of course sort by P percent. This is particularly useful if you're a place pot player or want to play exactors or tricasts. The trainer stats view is broken up into four in the same way that the trainer inline form on the race card is. We have a report for 14 and 30 day form and course one year form and form at the course since 2009. Let's click on the course form 2009 plus and sort by win percent. We can see, for instance, that P. Rowley has a very good strike rate at Ludlow, albeit from a small number of horses. He might well be worth further investigation today. And the final report, a new one, is the integrated head-to-head -head report. As with all the other reports, this brings together the information from all of the individual races. And in this case, it shows us the head-to-head -head record for every horse running today which has previously raced against another horse in the same race. Sorting by uh, runs or wins will order by that and clicking on the horse name will open up a view showing the respective wins and losses against today's rivals in data order. This can be a very powerful feature. And finally we have the tracker. The tracker is a place to store your favourite horses, trainers and jockeys. To add a horse, trainer or jockey, simply use the search box and type in the name of the horse, trainer or jockey you're interested in. If more than one horse, trainer or jockey fits the search, then multiple results will be returned. Let's say I was interested in ancient days. I can either view the horse's form or click the add button and ancient days has been added to my list of horses. 
On the right hand side here have my, I have my horses, my trainers and my jockeys. And in the box at the bottom of the screen I have my horses, trainers and jockeys who are entered in one of the races today or tomorrow. In this case we can see that Adam Beskitzer, one of my jockeys, was riding in the 6 o'clock race at Kempton on a 40 to 1 shot. And Alex Dunn, one of my trainers, had a runner in the 210 at Taunton. To remove a horse or a trainer or a jockey, simply click the remove button next to its name. And the horse is removed. Clicking on the X top right, by the way, will close any of these reports or the tracker view. Here's another shortcut to using the tracker. Let's say that I was interested in following Cloudy Joker in future runs. To the right of his name is a grey star. If I click on this, it will ask me if I want to add Cloudy Joker to my favourites. Clicking OK makes the grey star go gold. That horse has now been added to my tracked horses and if I go into the tracker element again we can see that Cloudy Joker has been added to my list of horses to follow. We can do exactly the same with trainers and jockeys. So let's add Tom Simons. Again I'm asked if I want to add him I will click OK and the star goes yellow and my tracker element has increased to four. The number in brackets is, th is the number of entities, horses, trainers or jockeys, runners today. So we can see now that under trainers Tom Simons has been added and in my selections runs there is another trainer runner and that is Tom Simons Avoca Promise. <coughs> Again clicking remove either here or actually on the race card itself will remove the horse. I'm asked to confirm this on the card I click OK and he disappears from the screen and also from the tracker. And those are the main features of the GG's race cards. I really hope you enjoy them and if you've got any suggestions for future improvements or enhancements please leave a comment on this post down at the bottom and we'll do all we can to integrate as many as possible. Thanks a lot for watching. I hope you find plenty of winners using these tools and bye for now.